morning. Good morning. It's Monday. It's cloudy and rainy. But we're getting to go to a new job that is not bridge work. I am so excited that we're going to be doing bridge work for a little while. We're going to be building roads, I think. I'm not 100% sure yet. We got a mandatory meeting to we got to go to this morning. So that's where we're headed now. It's looks like it's going to start raining again. It's awful dark. The roads are all wet. We'll let's see what we got when we get out here. See if the job site's wet and muddy. See what we can do and what we can't do. I uh, hope y'all stick around and enjoy the video. Ground's looking pretty muddy this morning. It's out there in front of me, I don't know how you see it, but it's it's mud. It ain't so much water, but you can hear it in the tires. I don't know about today. There's some water. Might be a short one today. All right, as predicted. It was too wet, too muddy to do anything today. And surveyors ain't finalized their area, I guess, of what we're supposed to be doing or laid the job out correctly so we know exactly the limits of where we're supposed to be working. So, we will report back tomorrow morning and continue on. We did ride down and look at the spot we're going to be working, the road we're going to be working. It don't look like it's very long. Like we didn't go all the way to the top of where it was at, but from what I could see, it's, I mean, it's a pretty good distance, but it's just not a straight, long road. I mean, it's pretty much just you're connecting the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill without having to go around the hill, pretty much. I guess you could say something like that. But we're headed back now. It'll be all for today. I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow morning. When we get back out there, I'll be putting up silt fence, I know. And I'll catch up with y'all then. All right, here we go again. Tuesday, day two. Got rained out yesterday. We're going to go back and dry it again today and see if anything's dried up. I know it rained some last night, but I'm not sure if it rained out here when we're working at it or not. So we're going to go ahead and find out. I know we got to grease the skid steer. Going to get that taken care of. Probably throw some fuel in it. Uh, I think we're putting silt fins up today. I'm not 100% sure on exactly what all we're going to be doing. Anyways, y'all stay tuned and check out the video and see what we're getting into today. Alright, we're headed off. Got the trencher hooked up finally. It gave us a little bit of a fit. We got it greased up. Got the skid steer greased up. We're heading off the hill. We're going to go. Well, yeah, still ain't exactly sure we're waiting on the uh, GPS coordinates and for them to set up the GPS and everything to, so I can find out exactly where we're putting this silk fence and stuff in at. But that's the reason why we got the, this little trencher on the skid steer and just bury the bottom of the silk fence. So I'll show y'all more whenever we're putting it in. And uh, it just keeps the dirt from going underneath the silk fence. Well, trencher hole put the silk fence down in it while it stands up and it will cover the bottom back up with the dirt but I'll get more into that here in a little bit. We're going to drop off the hill down here and catch up with the rest of the people. There's quite a few contractors out here with us so I had to be picky on where I'm at when I'm recording. we got some safety guys out here too so I'll get some good video content out and I'll catch back up with y'all in just a little bit. Alright Starting on our little trench here so we can put our silk fence down in it. What's up, Jeff? Hey. We gotta make sure Todd stays some kind of some kind of straight. We gotta go to that. 
wooden stake right there behind him. So what we're gonna do is the silk fence are gonna set down in this hole and then all this dirt here on this side will be backfilled up against it. And uh it's supposed to set six inches in the ground, but we got it, I got it marked about a foot. So we ain't gotta drive the stakes as far. So is he going straight back to that post or behind the post? No, nah, he needs to go kind of straight to it. Yeah, he's, off right now. he's got a straight line, but he's not going straight right now. They said he's gonna try to try to go that way, but I know that thing it's hard to turn. I'm gonna we're gonna get a roll of this silt fence off the truck. Yeah. And we're gonna lay it on this side over here so we can unroll it and see how far it's gonna go. walk down through and all this it'll fold right back over in it further nicely oh yeah looking good It'd be nice if that thing had the button on it where you can constantly flow to that head, but you gotta hold the little trigger on the inside of it. So he's trying to turn it now to try to get it to go that way. Yeah, I can see what you took it over there, but it's not turning. He's got a little curve going to it now. Okay, we're still gonna end up going right beside that stake though. All right, we'll let him get that done. Figure out how if he wants to I don't think he's going to want to come back and redo it again, but. I'm going to one of these out and bring it over here. All right, that works. It'd be a lot easier, too, if you could run that thing going forward instead of backwards. All right. Silt fence is going in. You gotta come back and backfill it. We had one post break. Other than that, it's coming along fairly good, fairly easy so far. Driving the holes are a little difficult in some areas. It's real rocky underneath. But we got this little piece to go. Then we gotta go right over there and go around that building. Then we got another piece up there. But we're getting it done. Give Jeff a, a break here. You look wore out. All right. It's so rocky. 
It's rocky all the way down. You can see the gravel that's coming out of it. right there and then we're going to cut straight across and go to that one down there and these four here in the middle with the pink ribbons that's where our building's going to be and then our silt fence will go over there to that far one over there it ain't got a ribbon on it so we're going to get these in put the silt fence up move on to the next little spot oh look at the rock coming out of there now There goes Chuck the Rock. Make sure he's headed. Decently toward that state back there. It ain't gonna be perfect, but try to be as close as we can. All right, just got the next little bit of cell fence being rolled out. We got this ditch cut in pretty good. Tide's working its way going back that way now to the next state. It should be pretty well lined up with this other close. I'm gonna help Jeff throw this silt fence in. I'm gonna pull it down this way some. At least get this, get this corner and then this corner here on that post there will take all this excess stuff and roll it up around that post. It makes it good and tight and it ain't the edge. He's probably got some extra down there. Yep. All right, we'll see how this works out. We're gonna have to cut it and redo it, take off again, or if this in here is gonna match up with the corner. I got any more room I can come this way? How much extra you got hanging over down there? Huh? How much extra you got down there? Not much, it's right there on the edge. Oh, uh, is it enough? Is it enough that we can take this post here and scoot it over where it'll make a corner? So we ain't gotta cut it and roll it and then redo it? Ah, oh, good. He's going like a little bit of an angle there, ain't he? He'll start angling it back. I don't know because if he does a couple rolls on that one, how does this is right now, it'll probably put the stake right about here. Well, is that in already rolled up? No. Wanna walk down there and look at it? Let's see what we got down here. I 
I think we can fudge it a little bit that way. So we can make that post be the corner. I think we can we can bring it this way a little bit and just enough to make this on the corner. Yeah. And then we'll run it. I'm gonna go down here and see how tired it is, how close he is. Not as rocky on this side. Putting up silt fence. Let the fun begin, I guess. All right, on you. Are you ready? A little further. Maybe a couple hits. All right. All right. Got all these bugs everywhere. All we're trying to do is get it down to, if y'all can see this line right here, that's six inches, and that's got to be the top of the wire out here is. Just to make sure we get it down in the dirt low enough that nothing runs underneath it. You want me to hammer some? Right now. All right. Good. Todd's getting our next section rolled out. Trade up. Huh? You gonna trade? Look, it stood up by itself. Right, there you go. <laughs> getting it, getting around. Yeah, we can. Alright, we can do that. Alright, we got that section of self fence put up. We're gonna go over there and work our way around that little area there. We're just gonna we'll come back and backfill it later. This evening or in the morning we got a another little spot on down around the corner down that way we gotta get. But this is one of these jobs. You gotta have all your safety shit on. Or all your safety stuff, I should say. Pardon my French. But other than that, ain't too bad. Can't work too hard because they won't let you. So Got to have hard hats on. About time for a new one. But we're getting this put in. We got some more roads to look at and some other stuff to look at. And then I'll catch y'all back up on the next little part we're going to do. I'm going to go back over here and meet Todd and see what he's got in his head. And then we'll get back to it and put some more silt fence in and go from there, I guess.
Uh, it's silk pins rolled out. See how much we got here. That'll be about it. We roll one end up. This end here is. Oh yeah. Roll it up so it don't come undone. And then we'll take it put it here so they kind of pull against each other and down through there it goes should be easy hammering on this one this ground over here is looks a lot better it's not as rocky especially down there it ain't near as bad Check this thing out. I like these little dump trucks like this. These older forwards like this. Good little truck. It'd be real nice. If it was parked in my driveway, I'd sure take it. But I do. Oh, it's got some cancer on it right there, but the dump bed on it looks good. The rest of the cab looks pretty good. I don't know who Rhino Specialized Transport is, but it's a good looking truck for what little bit of cancer it's got on it right there. I like to have one about like that. The bed on it looks real good though, except the tailgate's got a little bit of spot on it right back there. The rest of it looks real good. But anyways, let me get back over here. This is all the other contractor stuff. All that rebar metal, that's what they're doing they're putting buildings up inside where we're putting all this silt fence up so me and jeff's gonna start hammering away putting silt fence up and make sure we get them straight here there so we give him a point to go to go over here and start nailing this stuff in the ground and maybe we'll be done in the next 40 minutes it's one of the bridges we just got done doing and they got it all paved up Pretty smooth transition until you get back to the gravel. All right, we got another one in the books. Then we got all of our silt fence finally put out. We was in a rush here at the end. Three o'clock, them guys close the gates on you. So we was in a rush to get that last little bit done so I didn't get any video footage of what it looked like finished up. But we will return tomorrow to start backfilling the little trenches. And we got a, the main gravel road that we come down. We got to fix the ditches on both sides of it. We got some riprap check nails to put in. Uh, we got a whole new road we got to build, but we're waiting for the people to come out to put the electrical, the electrical line and electrical boxes 
on the edge of the road, the idiots come through and decided they was going to bury the electrical lines and put the electrical boxes right in the middle of our road, where our road is supposed to go, from at the top and at the bottom. And they run it right down the middle of the road. Uh, the people would tell them, hey, that's not where it's supposed to go, but I don't guess they really care. They just kept doing it and kept going, so. They gotta come back out and move it before we can actually start working on that road, but we got some other things we can take care of for, so. I'm not sure when they're supposed to come move that stuff. Hopefully it won't be too long and they'll come out. I guess they gotta dig it all up. Well, I don't, I'm not sure what they're gonna do or how they're gonna do it. I'd say they'd have to dig it all up and move it, so. But anyways, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Shoot me a comment on tell me what y'all think. And if y'all wanna see some more videos, upcoming work, hit that subscribe button ring that little bell so you get the notifications every time I post a good video or a video at all. It may not be no good. I don't know. But anyways, y'all come back tomorrow and I'll have another video out of some, some different stuff, hopefully. And Thank y'all for watching.